Hey YouTube, this is a video to convert an automata to a regular expression. So here we have a nice little formula. Uh, given a automata that looks like this, we can transform it into a regular expression uh, looking like this here. And so here I have an example um, of an automata. You have the start state here at A. So you see we have a start state there. And we have two end states, C and D. And you see we have an end state there. So it's not exactly in this form. So in order to get into that form, we need to use a process called state elimination. And there's two states that we want to keep, the start state and the end state. Since we have two end states, we're going to choose one of them to keep. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's change this into a regular expression. So first I'm going to start off by rewriting the states that we want to keep which is state A, state D, and state C. And now I want to connect these paths together that don't go through B. So we have A going to A with input of zero. You can see that here. And C going to C with input of zero. And then we have C going to D with input of one. And from state D to C, we have zero. And then from state D to A, we have a zero from over there. Um, and I believe that's it. So now if we eliminate it, state B, we also have to connect these paths from uh, the states that go to B and the states that get input from B. So here we see that A uh, takes the path of one to, and then a one to B, and then from B to C, it takes another one. So from A to C, it takes input one and then one. So we can draw a new path directly to C without going through B is one, one. And then let's see here, we have a, another path from A to B to A. So that's input of one, zero, and then we get back to A. So it curves right back to itself with input of one, zero. And these are all the paths that um, B goes to, and it takes all of its input from A. So that's exactly what we have here. So the next thing we want to do is eliminate another path, I mean another state. And we want to eliminate, I'm going to just choose the end state D to eliminate. So we get rid of that. We're getting rid of one two, three paths. Okay, and we can see from state C to D, uh, we're gonna, we could go back to C. So create a little loop here. And it's one, zero. And then there's another path from C to D to A. And that's one, zero. So from C to A, we now have a new direct path and it's one, zero. Okay, and now you can see that it's starting to look a lot like this form here. Um, we need to change these loops down here. So what we can do if we get rid of them then we have to create an or here, or zero. Get rid of it here. We get or zero. Okay. And now it looks exactly like uh, what we have up there. So what we have now we have our S 
is equal to this here. So that's one, zero, or zero. We'll put that in parentheses. Um, here we have our T. Here we have our V. And here we have our U. So our U equals one, zero. We'll put that in parentheses as well. Our uh, T is one, zero, or zero. One, zero, or zero. And we're missing a V, so our V is one, one. All right, make sure I got that correct there. And everything looks good. So now we can use this information to convert into a regular expression like this here. So now our, well, let's put it here, regular expression will be our S star. So we have S is gonna be one, zero, or zero star. Then we have U, which is one, zero. Then we have a parentheses. I'm just gonna use a, a big bracket so you can see what's going on. We have T here, so we're gonna use our T there, which is one, zero, or zero. Then we have a big or here. Then we have our V next. And our V is one, one. One, one. We have our S star again. Looks like I'm gonna run out of room. Let me write this down here. Regular expression. I'm just gonna rewrite this here because it looks like I'm gonna run out of room up top. Okay. And now we can continue. So we have our OR11, one, one, which is our V. I mean our S star, which is one, zero, or zero. So we're gonna have one, zero, or zero with a star. Then we have our U, which is one, zero. And then all of this is still within that bracket there with a star at the end. And this is our regular expression. So thank you guys and please subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.